further spells of rain. Why not lift a living income so people could afford the basics? It's always a compromise, and compromises mean that some people get more and others get less. Far well, too simplistic. That is not that, how the world first works. First of all, thank you for explaining. Did he mislead Parliament? My view is he didn't. It's always somebody right. else's fault. Whatever side you're on. Parliamentary democracy, that does matter. The conversation starts here. Let's start with this breaking news. Politics Live, tomorrow at 12.15 on BBC Two and iPlayer. This is BBC News. I'm Rebecca with the latest headlines. The former Chancellor Rishi Sunak confirms he's in the race to be the next Conservative leader. Suella Braverman, the former Home Secretary, is backing his bid. The Foreign Secretary James Cleverley endorses Boris Johnson, although the former Prime Minister will officially enter the race. A close ally is confident he will. Uh, yes, I have been speaking to Boris Johnson uh, and clearly he is getting to stand. There's a great deal of support for him, as you will have seen. Penny Mordaunt is still in the running with 23 backers. She told the BBC she believes in cabinet-led politics. I have my views, but I won't be imposing policy that I've just made up in a room by myself. The Labour leader Keir Starmer says his party hasn't got complacent and repeats calls for a general election. These people who are so fed up, they're entitled, they want a say in this. There is a choice to be made. We need a general election. Let the public in to decide, do they want to continue with this utter chaos? In other news, head teachers in England say nine in ten schools will have run out of money by the next school year due to the cost of living crisis. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Rishi Sunak has formally entered the contest to become the next Conservative leader and Prime Minister. The former Chancellor says he wants to lead the country with integrity, professionalism and accountability. He already has the required backing of more than 100 fellow Tory MPs. Well, this afternoon, Suella Braverman, the former Home Secretary, became the latest high-profile MP to endorse him. Writing in The Telegraph, Ms Braverman says the Tories all need to compromise, but that Rishi is the only candidate that fits the bill to deliver unity, stability and efficiency. Meanwhile, the Foreign Secretary, James Cleverley, is backing Boris Johnson. In a tweet, he said that Mr Johnson had learned lessons from his time in Number 10 and will focus on the needs of the country. Mr Johnson has yet to declare his candidacy, but held talks with Mr Sunak last night. Penny Mordaunt is also running, but like Mr Johnson, has yet to achieve the required number of backers. Here's our political correspondent, Helen Catt. Three potential Prime Ministers. Two of them have now officially said they want the job. The former Chancellor Rishi Sunak has confirmed...